think I got everything running here. I'm going to listen to some sp suspense programs while I draw my comic. It's basically what I would normally do, and except I'm going to be live streaming this. So let me get that started here, and then I can just start drawing. And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. I don't have the right pen. No, I don't. Tonight, we bring you a transcribed story of a mother, a father, a locked door, Oops. and a baby. We call it The Cellar Door. So now, starring Paula Winslow and Parley Bear, here is tonight's suspense play, The Cellar Door. So this is from... The 50s, right before they stopped making old time radio shows. So, who knows if this will actually be suspenseful or not? And. Oh, I'm out in the kitchen! Oh. Hey, that's Parley Bear. He's the mayor on Andy Griffith. I thought you were going to wash the car. Well, I decided to mow the lawn instead. Yeah, I could hear you. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Hi. What's new? New. <laughs> hey, did you hear that, Ann? He can say anything now. That, I love it that when grown her, people uh, play children. What's her name? Oh, Miss Emerson. Uh, yeah. She wouldn't believe me when I told her Sandy wasn't quite two. She thought he was three or four. Oh, really, Joe? Uh, that's right. Oh. Three or four. We'll have lunch right after your bath, honey. Well, what's the schedule? Well, I'm going to bathe him now, lunch, and his nap, and then we can go to the park. Wait, it's a boy? I better drain some of that water out of the heater. Where's the bucket, and Down the basement? Oh, I moved everything onto the service porch. It was too tough going up and down those stairs. Hey, look. Ah. All those toys, and he plays with an egg beater. Oh, say, the water heater's all right, Joe. If you have to fix something, how about the light socket in the bedroom closet, huh? Hell, I'll fix them both. Ah, that's horrible. What was that? I don't know. Oh, it's those kids from across the street. Oh, they must have kicked that football in the yard again. Well, where are you going? Now they're killing the head. I'll be right back. Here we go. Oh, come on, Sandy. I think that seems Run better. the water into the tub. Hey, fellas, don't go through the head. Go around it. It's the only head I got to my name. Sorry, Joe. I'll keep them on. Where's your boat, honey? Can't take a bath without the boat. Oh, boat. And I thought she said bone. Your nap will go to the park and ride in the pony cart. Oh, here's your boat. Now, look, don't go out in the hall, dear. You stay here. I'll be down in the basement, honey. Did you save the head? Yeah, I guess I'm getting old. I've been nursing that head for three years. Say, can you watch Sandy for a minute? I want to get a towel out of the kitchen. Sure. And turn the water off, will you, honey? Right. Uh, we'll take on the ponies this afternoon, son, huh? Pony. Hey, Ann? Ann! Well, what's wrong? You're nothing but look at Sandy. What'd he do? He took off his stockings. Always oh, been doing that for months. Yeah, I know, but look how neatly he tucked He was in the tub with stockings? Just like I do. Cute. Hey. Well, is there something wrong? Best not put my arms around. Dwell on it. No. You going to fix the light socket upstairs? After I drain the water. Sexy talk. <laughs> Sandy's bath's gonna get cold. Okay. I'm on my way. Oh, Joe. Yeah? Put a low flame under the pans on the stove, will you? Check. Thanks, dear. Oh, the water's just right. Come on. You Thrill as they do average housework. Oh, you did it yesterday. Come on, start with the buttons. Oh, Joe, can you answer the phone? Will they answer the phone? Tune in tomorrow. Oh, you better let me carry you again. The floor is cold and you got your shoes off. There we go. Now hang on. Phone. No. Phone. Hello? Oh, fine. Yeah, look, uh, can I call you back, Mother? I was just going to give Sandy his no. bath. No. He's 
You are giving Come Sandy on. his bath. Uh, no. No, he didn't have a cold after all. Uh, mother, look, and I caught... Baby's drowning mother, in the tub by now. Can I call you back? Yeah. All right. Yeah, all, all right. You call me back. Mm-hmm. About, about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay. The suspense is whether okay. or not they're going to finish any task. Bye. <sighs> to the bath, we hope. Bath? Oh, dear. What do you want? Who was it? My mother. kitchen. What will you throw them down to me? <sighs> All right. Sandy, just we so may never have a bath. Oh, yeah, oh. lunch. Lunch. We'll have lunch. And just... Okay. No. Okay, sweetie. I guess the boys are on a schedule or something? You can't take his bath? With me. We gotta find Daddy the pliers. See? Pliers. Pliers. Lights on. No, honey, we only turn the lights on in the evening when it's dark. Come on, let's go back in the hall. No, no, hall. This is the hall. Anne? Yeah, I'm right here. Oh, throw them down. Oh, Joe, you shouldn't leave the cellar door open, not with Sandy around. Well, I knew it was with you. You got the pliers? Yes. Well, throw them down. Look, Sandy, you wait right here in the hall. Now, I'll only be gone a second. You wait right here. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I have to come down Damn. a few steps. I can't throw it around the bench. <laughs> leaving the baby the in the tub, leaving the baby in the I'll kitchen. Come back, honey, and you stay right here. I don't like that line there. Okay, here you are, catch. Strike, thank you. Hey, what's the rush? Well, I left Sandy in the hall. Oh, well, when do we eat? Oh, about ten minutes. What Joe. about the bath? Oh, Joe! What's wrong? The door's locked. I, oh, I, I can't get out. Oh, now, don't get excited. We'll oh. get it open. Why didn't you put the catch on the lock? Well, I thought you had. The door was open. Did you have to close the door? What do you want Sandy to fall down the stairs? Oh. Yes. Oh, hurry. Wait, just a baby if they're downstairs, how is the... the oh, because... Like never mind. Anything could happen. So mostly these stories have been about murderers or You're monsters. This one is literally door. just they're like locked in the basement with the baby upstairs. Of I mean, I suppose that's suspense, suspense. but... I expect these usually to be more like crime or monster stories. If you're a veteran radio listener, you'll remember that there never was anything like it on the air. If you're new to radio, you'll soon realize you'd never heard Oops. anything like it. That's not good. The Radio Workshop will continue after a few this. years' vacation to bring you the new, the exciting, the unusual in all fields of radio broadcasting. Dramas, music, operas, poetry, and comedy. Hear the CBS Radio Workshop this Friday evening and every Friday. And now we bring back to our Hollywood soundstage Harley Bear and Paula Winslow, starring in tonight's production, The oh, Cellar Winslow. Door, a tale like well is, calculated to it. keep you in suspense. Suspense. So the real question is, will she ever call her mother back? Try the lock. The lock's on the other side. The only thing here is the bolt that holds the lock. The only thing I'm breaking open is my shoulder. Well, you've got to get this door open. He's out there alone. I know it. Keep your voice got down. To, got Relax. To, got to. You're scaring the kid. Joe, there's water in the bathtub. There's a flame on the stove. Do something. Oops. Only get the door open. Wait, she even left the stove running with the child, the child upstairs? Oh, he's playing with.
with an egg beater. 60s. At least he's still in the hall. Look, can't you pry it open? The hinges are on the other side. It's a spring lock. There's no way of turning the lock from here. Oops. Sandy! Sandy! Here's a funny story, though. I used to work at a movie theater. And one time I took my son with me while... And it was closed. I had gone there while it was closed. And I took my son with me there. And somehow I walked away for just a few minutes and he locked himself in the main office. And we, and we couldn't get him out of there. And he was like three or something like that. And we had to basically try and explain to him how to open the door because it latched on his side. He eventually got out. It was maybe a couple of years later. Just kidding. He doesn't answer. Take it easy. Falling apart isn't going to help. Sandy! What are you doing? Well, if I can twist this bolt. It's part of the lock. Well, hurry. It's going to take a few seconds. See if you can get him back in the hall. Oh, okay. Sandy! Sandy! Keep wanting Joe. to sing Sandy from Joe, Oh that? Sandy Baby from Greece. What was what? It sounded like, like water splashing. No, I didn't hear anything. I left the back door open. The screen door isn't locked. If he went outside, the, the traffic. Oh, this isn't going to work. Well, you've Good got Lord. to try something else. They live in a death trap. Oh, he's got his toy duck. Yeah, he's in the hall. Down by the bathroom. Quack, quack. Sandy. Quack, quack. Sandy. Sandy. I always give him the duck when he's in the water. Sandy, come down here by the door. Right here, Sandy. Where Daddy's knocking. Bye-bye, Daddy. Sandy, Bye-bye. stay right here. Let me talk to her. Sandy, come up to the door. Right here. Quack, quack, quack. Bob, Sandy. I love that. Can you turn it for Daddy? Oh, he doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh, I've seen him play with every doorknob in the house. But he can't reach it, Joe. He gets up on his chair. Sandy, get your chair, Sandy. Get your chair and bring it to the door. Dad? Dad? Look, Joe, can't you pry the door open? No, I can't. Sandy, get your chair and bring it to the door. Oh, we could be here till tomorrow morning, till the cleaning woman comes. Get your chair, Sandy. Joe. He's going for his chair. Oops. Oh, it's so Jeez. stupid. Oh, for heaven's sake, stop beating yourself. It isn't going to open the door. I don't know why you closed well, it. I told you. Well, why didn't you pick him up and bring him with you? I should have been gone only a couple of seconds. I don't like to carry him down these stairs. They're so steep. Well, you know how the lock works. You were down in the basement. I thought you put the catch on the lock. But I left the door open. Oh, how many times have I told you with Sandy in the house not to leave the basement door open? Well, he was with you. Yeah, you stupid idiot. Oh, what was that? Sounds like he's pulling the pots and pans out of the cupboard. Joe, I, I've got things cooking on the stove. Sandy! Get the duck awful quick. Sandy! Don't, don't shout like that. You, you'll scare him half to death. Uh, Sandy! Sandy, bring your chair to the door. Oh, he's doing it. That's a good boy. Oops. That's too big. Bring it right up to the door. That's right. Come on. Closer. That's a good boy. Now, get on the chair, son. Get on the chair and turn the knob. Oh, he's gone for his duck. He probably left it in the kitchen. Now it sounds like a cat. He finds the duck. Meow. Oh, I, Meow. I hope he didn't throw it in the tub. 
Joe, what? the window. Oh, it's too high. You could raise me up to the window. Sure, but you'd never get through. It's too narrow. I can wiggle it's through. It's too small. Well, we could at least try. It's a waste of time, Anne. We can't afford it. You oh. can't get through that window. Well, I will. Anne, stop it. Stop it. Let me go. That isn't going to help either. You can't tear down the door. Let go. Take it easy. Well, I... I can't help it. It's better not to frighten him. Sandy. Best not to think about it. Oh. He's still looking for the duck. Sandy. He had the duck. The door. Daddy. Daddy. Daddy's right here, son. Now, now turn the little knob. Climb up on your chair and turn it for Daddy. Mom. Oop. Climb on the chair, Sandy. Let me talk to him. You don't want to confuse him. Come on, Buster, up on the chair. He did it. Hang on to the doorknob, Sandy. Oh, it's all right. Turn the little shiny knob, Sandy. The one under the doorknob. The lock. Now look what you've done. He's playing with a doorknob. Well, he has to hang on to something. Oops. I don't want him to fall. Shh. The That's little knob below the doorknob, son. The little shiny one. Switch That's the lock. No, no, no. Stay right there, son. Don't go away. Don't go away. Now turn the we'll right shiny back. one. Right here where daddy's tapping. Sure. 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 Oh, Joe. He's too young to understand. Watch the doorknob, Sandy. See? See how I turn the doorknob? Look right. Now you turn the one under it. Fingers are too small. It, it, it's your turn now, Sandy. Those are too big. Good boy. Now turn it all Let's the way. See. He's turning it the wrong way. No, turn it the other way, son, and to your right. I, I, I mean, Good turn boy. the other way. It's about all wrong. Once more, Sandy. Oh, oh he fell off the chair. Sandy! Baby, are you all right? Okay, Sandy. Oh, as if he could tell us. No, he's all right. Sandy, Sandy, fix your I mean, chair. I suppose it's a suspenseful tale. The game's over, Joe. Can't you break it open? Well, you saw me try. Sandy, Sandy will be right Here is parental out. neglect. Oh, wait, right splashes right across the radio waves. Hey, we're right across from the Donaldson's kitchen. Well, I don't think they're home. Oops. Possibly hear you. Yeah. Bye -bye. Sandy, Sand. Oh, come back and wait by the door. Oh, Sandy. I can hear him in the kitchen. Oh, there must be some way. If I could just get this bolt loose. Well, that's what you should have done in the first place. Well, it's frozen tight. Oh, it, it moved. That was the pliers, not the bolt. Still in the kitchen. Oh, don't be so sure. Keep forgetting I can turn my page. I'm like trying to angle in at it. Fire, you wouldn't admit it. Well, I don't go around looking for trouble. What you mean is that I face things and you don't. No, what I mean is you're not happy unless there's something wrong, and if there isn't something wrong, you create it. I created this. I you said. stupid idiot. Look, I have told you a hundred times not to leave the basement door open. Tell me I created. All this. right, it's my fault. I did it. I'm to blame. I'm also to blame for this bolt. It won't turn, but it's my fault. Ow. Oh, that's how you always try to settle things. It's my fault. Only you never mean it. That's a fine defense. Well, I've had to learn a few, like at the Henderson's. Party. I shouldn't be laughing at this, but this is hilarious. Just bickering. That was over a month ago. Oh, what difference does it make? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's probably Mother. She was supposed to call back. Sandy's found his duck. He always picks up the phone unless I'm there to stop him. Well, let him pick it up. If we didn't come to the phone, she might get the idea there's something wrong. Sandy! Leave him alone. He's in the hall. Sounds like he's he's next to the phone. Oh! Was that the phone? He pulled it to the floor. Oops. Wrong thing. Say hello to Grandma, Sandy. Say hello to Grandma. 
knows whether it's grammar or not. I can't hear him if you keep talking. No, I, I don't hear anything. Sandy! Sandy! Must be a mountain hall. Quack, maybe, quack. Maybe they'll phone back. Oh, he never puts the receiver back. Sandy! Sandy, come out here in the hall. Yeah. Can you hear him? No. That's all I got. Now what are you doing? Well, this screwdriver isn't very sharp, but I think I can chisel enough of this door jam away to get the lock. That should work. Here, hold the pliers. Oh, hurry. Well, I'm going as fast as I can. Oh. Sandy! Sandy! Oh, if he was in the house, he could hear me. He may be back in his room playing. Oh, Joe, you haven't even gotten the I still keep thinking that it's a girl. Did you hear that? What? The back door. He's gone outside. Why didn't she? Listen? Well, how could you? I'm listening for him, too. Sandy! Sandy! Oh, he's gone outside. Mm, there you go again. Well, he could be outside. And he could be in his room. Oh, I hope so. Oh, is this going to work? What? Are you going to be able to open the door? Don't, don't start to break up. Not now. Well, you didn't answer It's me. going to work. Oh. How much longer? Five, maybe ten minutes. I don't know. It's like trying to crack cement with a toothpick. Uh, That's pretty colorful. I hope he's in his room. He's in his room. I hope so. What was that? Something hit the window. Hey, it's a football. I can see part of it. It must be those kids from across the street. They'll come to get it. Look, uh, uh, Joe, don't start shouting until we see them. I can see his feet. Hey, come around to the trapper! back door and, and, and let us we're, out. We're trapped in, we're the trapped in here. Give me the pliers. Please help us. Oh. Isn't he going to tell her how he could yell for them better? Shove the lock back if I can get deep enough. Sandy! Even if he went into the yard, he, he might stay that's, there. That's not right. Oh, I hope he didn't get into the bathtub. A horrible nose. He had his duck and, and the boat was already there. What time is it? Oh, I don't have my watch. He didn't put the receiver back or the phone would ring again. We've been in here at least an hour. Well, it won't be long now. Can you move over and give me a little more room? Well, I'm flat against the wall. Okay, okay. Don't start taking it out oh, on God. me. That's right. Start putting words in my mouth. Look, I don't have to go back a month, like the Henderson party, to find something to complain it's about. It's not as much suspense as it is just uncomfortable Once tension. If I knew what you were talking about, it might help. If you knew what I mean. I felt like a fool. What did I do? You know. No, I don't know. I don't have to tell you. Well, then I'll never know. Then you'll never do. That's what's so infuriating about it. Oh, but... Sandy! Sandy! Wow. Oh, where? Shh. I thought I heard him down the hall. I did... Are you sure he's not in his room? Sandy! Sandy! Oh, keep working at the door. What do you think I'm doing? tell you it was uncomfortable. Oh, at the party. Yes, at the party. Oh, well, you'll have to let me in on it. I'm in the dark. Well, did you have to insult everyone by talking to Healy all night? Oh, he's, he's 20. I'm 10, 12 years Wait, now old. they're That's arguing the about point. a party they went to? I'm only accusing you of being rude. What did I do that was so rude? You didn't mix with anyone. You didn't talk to anyone. You ignored everyone. Well, you're the one who told me how to act at parties. Oh, so it's my but fault. What the hell's going on? about these parties for business reasons and how much they bored me, you're the one who told me how to act at them. Oh, I'm sorry. I Meanwhile, the child they're trying to get has, like, wandered into the street outside. Spend the evening with them. All I did was take your advice. 
but you still have to acknowledge that there are other people present. Oh, Bart, those people aren't interested in seeing me. They only want to see you. I'm your wife, so I go along. Oh, that isn't true. You're the bright young man in town. That's why we go to parties like the Hendersons. Well, is that bad? Well, of course not. I'm always ready to be of help. Oh, don't go out of your way for me. Don't do me any favors. Oh, that's unfair. Yeah, and I'll be a martyr. Oh, Sandy! Oh, there you go. Yeah. Remember you, kid? I'm hitting metal. A few more seconds and that's all. Well, from here on in, you can go to parties all by yourself. Oh, you think people only want to know you because of me? You envy my job, you envy everything I do. That's the problem. No, it's you. It's you. You're never satisfied. You want too much. Because you're not a smashing success overnight, you take it out on me. All right, I'm a failure. Yes, in more ways than one. I'll tell you if it wasn't for the kid, I'd leave. But you can leave tonight. And I intend to. Last there's a lock. Now push on the door as I shove the lock back. Not yet. Okay. Now. Wow. Oh, what's wrong? The screwdriver slip. That's what's wrong. We'll try again. I'm sure that's her fault too. Okay. Push. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sandy! Oh, oh, he's not in the kitchen. Try the bathroom. Sandy! Sandy! His duck's in the tub. Maybe he's in his room. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll look there. You, you better look outside. All right. Sandy! Baby! His mother! Sandy! 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 Oh, Anne! Sound asleep. Oh, I... Huh? Is he okay? I mean, good. Yes. But, huh? He got tired and went to sleep. Where'd you find him? In the hall closet. In the hall? Here. Let me take him. No. The hall closet. I'll hold him. Where are you going? <sighs> to put him to bed. You want me to? No. I'll do it. What time is it? 11.25. Oh, no, it can't be. We must have been in there a couple of hours. We were only in there about what? 10 minutes. What? Thank you. And... And I... I'm sorry about those things I said. You... You know I didn't mean them. You know I love you. Mm-hmm. Put the receiver back on the phone. Turn the flame off on the stove. As soon as I get him in bed, we'll have lunch. Now that the baby's asleep, we can put away all the danger that we set up while we left him alone. All right. Suspense. So, I was able to get two panels done, I suppose, during a 30-minute period listening to a show. So, that's all. I just wanted to take some time to live stream and work on the webcomic that I'm doing about a monster. next week on Suspense. And I'll see you next time.